I have a bucket list. Do you? Let's talk about what we can do to get things out of that bucket and into our lives. And I've got one tip that will help us do that. Now, where did I leave that intro? We are all very different people. We come from different walks of life. We have our own stories. We have different dreams and aspirations. But there is something that binds us all together. At the end of the day, we are all trying to beat the clock. We are all trying to find our way. Hi, my name is Carl, and welcome to SMA. Okay, so here we are, a beautiful northern Michigan day. I, I got go, Jordan down I, there. I will go and try and skate on that ice. We're going to go out here. It's Bailey? That's my daughter Bailey. You've seen her once before. What are we doing today? We are going to go out on the ice lake. All right. Ice on the ice lake. What are we doing? We're going to go ice skating. What is your name anyway? We haven't met you yet. Jordan, remember? So, what are you doing? <laughs> I have a daughter talking to me. What's this? <laughs> uh, All right. We dug down and found the ice. Well, we didn't really dig. If we found it, it's slippery. Hey, what do you want to show me? The bed I made. The bed for Jordan. And it'll tell her what everything. Uh. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to SMA. Here we discuss the issues, build connections, and inspire the lives for those of us who are going through middle age. This is the second time I'm out here on Fife Lake to film, to film this video. The reason why is because the first time sucked. When I come home, would I rather mow my lawn? Or would I rather do something like go tubing or go sailing? The bucket list. Most of us have one, and let's be honest, the whole concept of the bucket list is kind of bleak, right? Because these are the things that we want to do before we... Uh-oh. I think I broke the bucket that I just kicked. <laughs> before we kick the bucket. Thanks, honey. No problem. Where do the wise? Do not break the, your wise bucket when you kick the bucket. Let's be honest, the idea of a bucket list is kind of dark. Right? It's the things that we want to do before we die. If you think about it, you know, we don't talk about our bucket list when we're young. 20 year olds aren't saying, man, I really got this thing in my bucket list. They're just worried about the next thing, man. They're just, you know, well, I'm going to go hit this party tonight and I'm going to try to find a job and hopefully that'll pay for the next party I go to. But when you start to hit your 40s, you start thinking about, okay, time is running, running out and I need to get these things done. I know for me personally, uh, just recently, in the past week or two, uh, my father-in-law passed away, and that was a really big thing. That was a very um, painful thing, and it happened quick. He went into the hospital with pneumonia on, on one day, and then a few days later, he passed. And it's one of those things, it's like, that guy was in great shape, and then suddenly, he's not. And I have all these things I want to do. I want to go to Tahiti. I want to go to Italy. I want to visit places, see p new people, and have new experiences. And all it takes is one bad doctor's appointment, and that is all gone. So like I said, I've got these things that I want to go do. I've got these bucket list items that I want to accomplish. And, I've got, and I'm running out of time to do those things. And I, as I mentioned, things like going to Tahiti or going to Italy, going to Greece. These are the things that are on my bucket list. And spending some serious time there and understanding the cultures. What about you? What are the things that are on your bucket list? What are the things that you want to do? Why don't you do me a favor and put some of those down there on the blah blah so I can take a look at them and uh, I'll see if I can't respond because I'm interested in what you guys have going on as well as what I got going on. The other thing about the bucket list is because we are getting older, particularly myself, I'm 48 now, I just turned 48 last Tuesday, I feel the oppression of time. A few years ago, uh, 2016, 
uh, we took a trip down to the Florida Keys. It was us and a couple other couples, including my best friend Anthony. We had a great time, and it felt like things couldn't get any better. And we're gonna plan more trips, and you know, we're gonna do more vacations together. And it just felt like this really great time. Well, we got back from Florida, and a few weeks after that, um, Anthony suffered a widowmaker heart attack, and thankfully he survived that. But that whole thing could have changed everything. And that, along with my father-in-law, things along those nature of those nature really have me thinking like I have to spend my time well. So what are the things that might be getting in the way of me um, dealing with my uh, bucket list, getting my bucket list things done? Well, I'm going to give you an example of one thing that really hurts me, that really hinders me as far as the bucket list goes. And that is my routines. I have a very um, specific daily routine and I go through it the same way every day five days a week and I'm gonna give you a little example of that right here hey Google stop That routine I just showed you, I do that same routine every day. In fact, I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch every day and they make fun of me at work about it. My routine is fine, but I keep doing the same things over and over and over again. So it's hard to do things that I want to do when I keep doing the things that I sort of, the mundane things in life. And so one of the things I wanna try to figure out is how can I get away from doing fewer mundane things and do more, more of the bucket list things, more of the things that I want to accomplish. We tend to think about money as being like the most important commodity. We work hard, we plan, we do all these things that we can do to figure out how to make more money. We feel like, hey, if I make money, things will be great. I need more money. Well, as we get older, I would argue that time becomes our most important commodity. Time is the only thing that we can't get more of. Right? You can get more money, you can get more material goods, you can get a lot of things, but time, you only have so much allotted to you, and that's that. Kansas, the band, once wrote a song, Dust in the Wind, and in it they talk about how, you know, your time, it slips away, and all our money, not another minute, will buy. And I don't think they're wrong about that. Time does slip away, and we have to use time wisely. Like Jack and Titanic, we have to make it count. Man, I hope I don't have any more Titanic quotes. <laughs> so here's what I want to talk about now. What I want to talk about is exchanging the mundane things for the bucket list things. Taking out some of those things that we do every day that maybe we don't need to do so much and start turning them into things that will build memories, that will change our lives, that will impact the people around us. Let me give you some examples from my life. Uh, some things that I've looked at that I've removed in the past few years. Um, video games. Love video games. Uh, I, play, I used to play video games every Friday night. I'd start at 10 o'clock and play till 3 o'clock in the morning. Loved video games. I think I probably finished Mass Effect, oh, I don't know, two, three times. Uh, I finished Knights of the Old Republic multiple times. Like video games. However, after five hours a night of playing video games, I hadn't actually accomplished anything in my life. I got nowhere that I wanted to go. 
So video games are something that I said, you know what, I could probably spend that time in better ways. So I, I took my video game playing time down. Another thing is sports. I love watching sports. You'll hear me ref make sports references, um, particularly basketball, a little bit football. But I'd come home on a Sunday and I'd watch football all day long, yell at the TV a lot, and then my wife would give me bad looks. So it didn't make for a great Sunday, and that was time that didn't really do anything in my life. It didn't build me up, it didn't edify me, I didn't learn anything, I didn't build any real memories. So that's some time that I tried to get back so I could put into other things. Now the question is, what did I put these things into? I got this time that I'm getting, what am I putting the time into? Well some of the things that I've put time into are things like sailing. Um, sailing is a recent hobby of mine and it is a very difficult hobby. It takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of sacrifice, it takes a fair amount of money unfortunately. I mean, not massive sums of money, but it's, you know, it's pricey. So, you know, I, I would read books on sailing, I'd watch YouTube videos on sailing and try to you, and figure that out so that I could get that thing from my bucket list into my actual life. So that's one of those things. Uh, travel is, a, is another one. And that's more about less about time and more about finances, reassessing where my finances were so that I could get that into into the more travel into the travel bucket, so to speak. If you were to come to my house and you were to look at my carpet, you go, dude, buy a carpet. But that carpet, if I were to exchange the carpet, and frankly I'd have to move everything out of my living room and that freaks me out. If I were to do that, if I were to spend the money on the carpet, then I wouldn't be able to make a take another vacation. And at this point, I would rather build memories with my family and spend time with my family and have all these great things happen than have a nice carpet. All right, so those are my the mundane things that get in the way of me accomplishing some of my bucket list things. What about you? Your homework for this week. Go down there in the blah, blah, below and tell me what are the things, the mundane things that you think you could maybe uh, change, eliminate, reduce in your life so that you can accomplish those bucket list things. Thank you for stopping by. Please leave a comment in the blah blah below and let me know how I'm doing. We are now, I think this is the third video, third or fourth video out there. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in what you think of, of how things are going and what I could do better. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like, please subscribe and then ring that bell. The bell will let you know that a new, when a new video releases. We'll see you next Tuesday, same bad time, same bad channel. And it is cold out here. Woo!